qualifier workout number one is going to be three rounds for time of 21 wall balls, 15 power cleans, nine burpees over the bar. The wall ball weight is six or nine kilos. Power clean weight is 35 or 50 kilos. The weight for the scale division, BEPS and the teams will be released later. So with the wall ball, what we're looking for is for the athlete to pass through a full squat in the bottom position, hip crease below the top of the knee, and then when he stands to full extension, he's going to throw the ball against his target. That would be a good rep. What we're not looking for is for Dave or the athlete to do a shallow squat where the hip's higher than the top of the knee and also when he comes out he's not hitting his required target. That would be a no rep. So like I said, what we're looking for, good deep squat, hip crease below the top of the knee and throwing his ball all the way to the target. Okay, then with the power clean, the athlete's going to approach the bar. He's going to do one fluid movement and put that bar in the front rack position. At the top of the movement, what we're looking for is full ankle, knee and hip extension with his elbows forward of the frontal plane of the barbell. If he wants to, he can drop the bar as long as the bar settles before he collects it again. What we don't want to see is dropping the barbell and then catching it on the bounce or we don't want to see bouncing the bike on the ground to do your touch and go reps. So we don't want to see this bend at the ankle, bouncing the bar. We want to get straight out to the bottom position like this and then he can touch and go his reps from there. Also a bad rep would be not extended at the hips and knees and that would look like this. That would be a no rep because the athlete hasn't extended his hips or knees in the top position. We need to get to full extension before the bar goes down. Also in the top position we don't want to see the elbows being behind the frontal plane of the bar. Like I said, the elbows must come through and be shown fully in front of the barbell. So the elbows must come through the front of the bar. Okay, the third movement, the bar face and burpee. The athlete is gonna face on towards the bar. He's gonna drop into a burpee, so his chest and thighs are flat to the ground. From there, he has to jump his feet up to his hands and he'll jump with two feet over the bar. That would be one rep. As opposed to last year when we were allowing step ups, we're not allowing that this year. We've got to go all the way down, chest and thighs to the deck, feet have to jump up and not step up. So the step up would be a no rep. So these are good reps because he's jumping up. What you don't want to see is the step up. You don't want to see the step up. That would be a no rep. The athlete must jump his feet up to his hands. 